keep watching Charis Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching Charis TV. We are here in Charis Missionary Church with King Mzilikazi II from Matabele land and with his beautiful wife, whom they'll be introducing themselves to us and telling us the reason that brought them here today. Uh, can you introduce yourself to us and also Mama and tell us where you come from? Uh, like you have already stated King Zuliga as the, the second. My name is actually Stanley Raphael Kumalo. I am from King Zuliga as, as one of the descendants coming through the house of Prince Langabeza. Uh, this is my beautiful wife. Her initial name and maiden name is Suwolute August Kosan. Yes, but she's Kumalo now. Uh, what brought us here actually? We have come for more or less on diplomatic mission, meeting different people, different interest groups, and also speaking to people who can help fundraise for a particular meeting that we are supposed to hold back their home in Bulawayo, where we will be inviting all the people that have a relationship or a history with the kingdom that was formed by King Zilias and King Lobenwuda. So this is what brought us here and what has brought us here to Charis Missionary Church today is because we have fellowshiped here about twice in the past and we have a history, a lot of things have we received certain prophetic words from the man of God, Apostle Jeremiah Kananisa, that have been guiding us towards this mission. And uh, we're here mainly to fellowship and also to pray for our people, the people of Matebele and who are strewn all over the world because of the history that they have gone through since the fall of the kingdom during the time of Cecil John Rhodes and God now wants to bring them together he has got a plan for them a plan to save them a, a plan for them to see that he is there and he loves them a plan to also use them for mission to use them for his own glory. And because they are all over the place, God has re-established a king for them. Someone who fears God in me. So that once again they can be brought together. And this is purely really to bring them together. The plan that God has for them, I happen to know it. It is glorious. It has got everything that you can want within it, including the economy of those people. So what has brought us here today or to South Africa was to meet those interest groups and we have done so and also to come here to fellowship as well as to pray for them and then, but, but, okay uh, you said uh, before in the beginning that you came here to fellowship twice and you also had an encounter with the man of God where, whereby you met him on a one-on-one -on -one session can you tell us during those visits what is it that God has been doing into your life? 
Uh, maybe I'm, let me just give a little background. Over the years, and I think it should be around four, 14 years now, God has been speaking to me. The initial time, the initial thing that God told me in a vision twice was that he gave me a verse and it's found in Second Chronicles chapter 2 verse 11 and it says then Hiram king of Tyre replied in a letter to King Solomon and he said because God has loved his people he has made you king over them I was overseas then this is the the vision that finally brought me back home. I could not understand what it meant, but over the years, God kept on showing me more visions that had to do with these people that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about politics or being a political party or stuff like that. I'm talking about the will of God to raise a king who becomes a servant leader for them. So, when I came here, in uh, July. July last year, I came with some other brothers. One of them is a pastor. We were wanting to clarify this thing from the man of God because I was in doubt as what to do. How do I handle this whole thing? Maybe I'm understanding something differently. So what came out was a confirmation from the man of God when we met on one on one. He told me clearly that God has chosen me as a servant leader of my people. He has chosen me and anointed me as, a, as their king. And uh, he also wants me to preach to them, a king who also preaches to his people and also to take care of their physical needs, their wants. This was the prophecy that he gave me. And he said, I should go out there and hold a crusade. That was in July last year, 2015. So I told him that I do not have the money to do that. And he said, God wants you to go. You will get some help along the way. We managed to, to go back and do that crusade. It was done on the 26th of September at the large city hall in Bulawayo and I preached to the people that were there. For those that came, we were blessed by the Lord. In January this year, I came back here with my wife and we met with the man of God to try and check whether maybe there is something we are missing because we are failing to get through. Uh, and what followed then was he prayed with us and uh, he also made an announcement at church here. That was January this year. That listen people of Zimbabwe this man is your king uh, then I was asked to to introduce myself and I said that then that I'm a prince then he said he's calling himself a prince because he has not been inaugurated but he is a king so From there, we went back and we still tried to meet with the president and we got frustrated and we could not do anything. And eventually, on the 10th of March, we sent a letter via DHL to the president. But a few days before that, God gave me in a vision to no longer call myself a prince but to address myself officially as his royal majesty king Mzilias the second 
it is then that I got courage to start writing that letter and addressing it as that. And we sent that letter. We haven't received any response. But then, now, what we want to do is to have a meeting, a crusade again with the people of Matebeleland to tell them what God is saying to them. The whole idea behind the crusade is for them to to find hope in God because when I get to meet with them, when they come, I will tell them things that I do not want to say here now. But things that God has purposed for them, the things that are soon going to happen to them, when God's love is going to be seen, God wants to restore their kingdom. And he wants to restore their glory. But now it's going to be multiplied. Before, because now God has shown greater revelations of his son, Jesus Christ. This whole thing is very, very urgent in the mind of God. All things has, have been done. God is ready for everything. Now it is time for these things to begin to benefit the people. God is very concerned about the pains they have suffered. He is very much concerned that many homes have dis been destroyed and people are all over the world. And even the way they live in other countries, it's got no dignity for, mo for many of them. Now God wants to restore his glory and bring back that pride to them so that they can begin to become a people that can contribute to the welfare of the world as well as the economics of the world, both in good and in wealth. So in other words, the crusade that will be held, it's about uh, the restoration of the people of Matabeleland. It's the restoration of the kingdom Yes, of Matebele, of the Matebele people. Yes, the Matebele people is not just a tribe. It's, it's several people groupings with different languages that got formulated and joined together for a specific purpose. And that purpose is now. It's a people that God has given a characteristic that he wants to use now. Yes. And then, Mama, what can you also say to uh, your people out there? I would encourage them to come to the crusade. As soon as we fix the date, we really pray that they attend in their numbers so that they see the glory of God in due time. Okay, so you've heard it, uh, people from uh, the Matabele land. You can call the numbers that are appearing right now on your screen for more information because God has restoration in store in your life. He wants to wipe away all of your sorrows, all of your pains, all of your sufferings, and he wants to bring forth unity and love so that you can uh, have breakthrough and prosperity in your life because he is a God that is able. He never fails and what he promises, he fulfills. You heard it from King Mzilikazi II about uh, the cruise that will be held you can call on the numbers that are appearing right now on your screen to find out more about where this crusade will be held and about the information at the time and the place and the directions and I believe that the God of mercy indeed will surely help you and restore your life for the better in Jesus name amen and then uh, King can you also tell those who can't uh, speak English in Debele about everything that you have just said to them now? But by it, all the sins that we lapa, we zeng oba, we litanda. Unkulu unkulu unyo litando we zulatina. Ufagi litando lo akegiiti. Uwuti si supergani. Sesi pote sapota. 
Sazama, e araruza, muguba bigela ngo tubolo enu nkulu nkula selu fage para tuwe ntiziyo zetu. Uguti si kulu mengani, bezu si sabantu uti, unkulu nkulu le njongo. Yogu li kulu la para tuwe utlunga li lule gubo. Leli loku li lula gubo. Abantu hanizi mwoni zitritegi, abantu bekweli kangalonke. Lezi ntwezi nengi, elipila lezi kuluma, logu tlupega. Unkulu nkulu fulu Useli zuzele impendulo enge la kukritega kwe kazi. Impendulo enga tingu kuzonda. Impendulo enga tingu kuzonda. Impendulo enga tingu lotando. Nga ngikuluma katesi ngimi. Ngisiti mina unkulu unkulu senge nze nga ba. Yinkosi umziligazi. Wesibili. Ngiazu kutika kukanga kuchwa. Kwa tuwa le inkonzo, ikara terega kulu, ilu ngiselela kona loko. Kwa isi yon inkonzo yoku chobi nkosi. Kwa tuwa inkonzo, ele lizwi. Ele zati ngali kulu nyo parati wenu. Lelo lizwi. Lelo lizwi. Liza liveze la indela, ea pambili. Liza wazo, uza landela masinyani ngoba, inkulu lego yenu parati wenu tupo zenu. Isi figile. Isi figile futi linga zele saba. Linga zele saba ngobo li mela yungu Jehova. Linga zele saba ngobo uwe saba yiko sa uwenze abandu wetulega. Ugu tipa sondele lapu nkulu nkulu haba bizela kona. Kali bizelo mpini li bizelo. Enkonzo nunga zitupi kumbu ya kolo wa kukulu nkulu mbega ukolo. Kule lizwe li karategi leyo. Ogu mele lize. Lizo li lalela leyo nkonzo. Iza vele mapepeni. Iza vele mkla umbela kucharisi. Siza bakwela nga iskatisa kona sefili. Uguti la kona ifarazwe. Kutwa sifuna ibe masinyano. Usimisleo izmali nji. Nga ave singa tola. Aba nito pepe nga patisa nga izmali. Zogu koka imi sebenzile. Ivi nila usasa singa wenza lumu sebenzi. Uguze singa puzisi. Inkulu lego ya bantu. Uguze singa kubegi selipambi, lugu tlupega, lugu suela, lugu ya nga babantu. Ngobu nkulu nkulu funu uli busisa. Nga nkulu nkulu seku kulu mile. Imani sibindi, libele temba lugu kolo. Ugutu nkulu nkulu ngu mtali wezu nwa mtlaba. O inkosi ya makosi, nga ese kulu muluto. Uluto lulu lienzega. Linga mangaliswa iguti kukamba njani. Lina ozani kupela, unjalo. Lize lile mtanda zwenti zwenzenu. Zwen. Diza kwa lise la mtaloko, siza li chombu lule la uchelo lwa kona. Olezi nito kumele zilandele, masinyani, nyabo, nkwa silibu sisi. I mean, we thank you so much and I believe that the people out there have heard your message and God indeed will bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, ma'am. God bless you too. And God bless this ministry. And God bless the man of God and his family. And everyone who is doing something here, he has been so helpful, very humble man of God, very much God-fearing. And he has been with us just for the sake of the will of God to come to fruition. And he has been our source of encouragement. We are very, very glad. Yes. Papa, as you have heard uh, the king speaking to us, what would you like to say? What would you like to comment? And can you also introduce yourself to us? Okay, uh, thank you so much, my sister. My name is Tomeki Dube. I also come from Matebeleland in Zimbabwe and uh, residing in a city called Bulawayo at the present moment. Um, what I could say is that uh, uh, we have an amazing God, an amazing God who looks after his people very well. It doesn't matter how long it would have taken for those people suffering. Uh, just like the children of Israel, uh, they lived in Egypt for uh, about 400 years. So much suffering, so much experiences that they went through. But at the end of the day, even if it was uh, so many generations, but God still was able uh, through his grace, through his love, uh, to say uh, to Moses, go and uh, 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 take my people out of Israel, out of Pharaoh. Similarly, 
uh, to, to me, or oh, um, this is such a, a day that I'll never forget. It is an amazing day where I thank the Lord so much because um, um, the Lord has loved us and has uh, taken us out of Egypt because it is Egypt that we had been in. Uh, our people, normally the people of Matebeleland, had a king. Like it's, it's about 120 years now that uh, we had our last king uh, who was actually um, uh, overthrown by the, the, the white settlers. And then he left and uh, nobody could know about the traces of where he ended. So now that God has uh, um, uh, brought to us uh, his royal majesty, uh, King Zilgas II, uh, he is um, a, an amazing um, a person from what I know. Um, a, a, a person who fears God, a person um, that is there for the people, not for himself, not for his family, he's not a selfish person. He's a, pe a person who's looking forward to embrace the whole of Matebeleland uh, with different nation nations that are making up Matebeleland. As, as we heard from him, that there are so many languages that make up what we call the Indebele, a nation that was founded by our uh, King Mziligazi. Literally, uh, I would say, um, uh, to our people, this is the opportunity, this is the time that their crying and their tears are being wiped out by God. And uh, God is amazing. All we need to do now is to continue worship, is to continue thanking Him endlessly because uh, God wants to use uh, His uh, Royal Majesty, King Zilgazi the second to take us out of poverty, to take us out of the pain, to make us forget even about the, the, the previous pain that we had because people are still wounded, they are still bleeding inside after all that had been happening, you know, throughout this time that I'm talking about, the 120 years. So it is quite um, 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 a relief, it is quite, um, I don't know, uh, it's, it's above the, the word freedom and uh, it, it's truly amazing and I'm saying, uh, Congratulations to the people of Mtuagazi, to the Ndebele uh, people um, that are all over the world. Most of them are in South Africa, some are in Botswana, some are in, 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 in the United Kingdom, America, name it. A few of them back home in Zimbabwe and we are saying now that this is the time for repatriation. This is the time the Lord says you are free to go back to your land because he has brought like a servant leader to you, to guide you, to take you through uh, the Red Sea uh, into Canaan. Thank you. Yes. We thank you so much and I believe that uh, the people of Matabela land that are watching right now, indeed, this is your time. God is about to restore you into good life and I believe that this crusade will bring change and restoration. You can follow the numbers that are appearing right now on your screen for more information and the God of mercy indeed will bless you and help you wherever you are. Keep on watching Charis TV and stay blessed. Amen. Keep watching Charis TV.